higher so it's the gentle basic a bit of movement um today i'm going to do just a few bits and pieces like a bit of stretching uh very basic stuff uh different things here there and everywhere just so you're moving and not really working to full intensity so we're just gonna have a bit of a mar a bit of a march that's not a march that's a side step you see anyway roll your shoulders i'm kind of half and half today i've got me uh, gym top on and my pajamas Cos why not right? Bring those shoulders the other way around. Bring those arms forward this time. I want you to very, very carefully and gently, I want you to reach up to the corners. One at once, only slow. Press those fingertips up to that diagonal and go up slightly onto that opposite toe well it's the same side as the you know the arm that's going up but the opposite side to where you're pointing really press those fingertips up beautiful now i want you to slowly and carefully bring your knees up doesn't matter where your arms are you can be you can have your hands on your hips really bring them up keep that foot flexed remember that position so your toe is forward i don't mean i'm not pointed like that i'm flexed oh and i'm falling over the next thing your legs apart and i want a full big circle lift your knee up first circle all the way around really open up those hips go all the way around Bring it, big, big circle. Even better, we're now going to go in the opposite direction. So bring it back and then round to the front. If you want people to adhere to social distancing rules around you outside, walk like this. They'll be nowhere near you. Maybe don't, actually, maybe don't do that. Like that, that lonely off a... Uh, Video told me, yeah, all right, love. So now what I want you to do is try and get that knee up. I want you to hold on to it and really pull it in. Just hold it for as long as you can. You put it down when you need to. Then you're going to do the other side. So again, I'll just show you from the other side. I'm probably going to fall over now. I did that side quite well, that first side. Really pull it in. Tuck it into your, your chest, your stomach. Bring it in, really pull it in. Carefully, lower. Similar, but instead of going forward, we're going back. So I'm going to put my hand on the wall. I'm going to get that foot up behind. And I'm going to look straight ahead. I'm pulling that heel in. My knees are together. And I'm pushing my hips forward. Stretching that body out, those thighs. Let go. Foot laugh, I'm going to try it without holding on. And I always regret this. You're holding your foot about where your laces are or would be. I don't have anything on my feet apart from my socks. Remember, those knees are together. I'm not out here. Don't do that. Push those hips forward. Carefully release. Now, I want your feet apart. I want your toes slightly out. What I want you to try and do is dip down, hinge forward, and I want you either your fingertips on the floor, walk your feet out. If you can then get the palms of your hands down, all the way down, and just hold that position. Stretching out those inner thighs for one thing because your toes are out. You're also stretching out 
well you're stretching out the whole leg really now i want you to walk your hands over to one side now point this toe further out put one hand on and just hold that position you don't have to put your hand on your leg and i don't want it on your knee absolutely definitely you can still have your fingertips or both palms on the floor then slowly carefully inch round to the other side bring that toe forward a bit take that other toe out and just stretch in keep dipped carefully carefully inch back into the middle bring those feet carefully and slowly in raise up your head's the last thing to come up don't just stick your head up really fast because you'll go dizzy bring those legs in so now what i want you to do is we've done these stretches i'll show you these stretches already but we're doing it all together to specifically just stretch out rather than just to cool down so i want your heel down your toe up you're looking forward and you're going to stick that bum right back dip down quite low i want quite a low dip do not put your hand on this knee support it on the uh, above your knee or even below what i want you to do now is put your toe down then bring it up down up one more carefully push up to that other leg that other heel even not your leg bring that foot in take that other foot out heel down toe up this leg is straight this knee is bent you stick that bum back quite far dip down hold that position your toe is pointing up at the moment and then i want you to dip that toe down to the floor and back up down up slow and steady one more carefully 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 back into standing beautiful now one hand on your hip one arm up above and i want you to reach over then up out reach okay so it's over back press to the side slow and steady really press those fingertips out to the side two more on this side last one beautiful just have a jiggle wiggle your arms out go to the other side so this arm goes up your hand is on your hip you're going to reach bring it down press reach down press really feel that stretch you're working your abs as well you're not just stretching them you're actually activating them it's only a very short video today i just want you to move a little bit on a sunday or any day choose whichever your day is for your active rest this is your last one beautiful so hands on your hips again keep rolling down right feet wide ish maybe shoulder width apart and we're going to do a big circle all the way around i want a big 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 circle press all the way as far as you can go that's forward back and to each side give it 
your best. Stretch it out. If your last one in this direction, then you're going to go straight into the other, other way. Here we go. Remember, as big a circle as you can manage, really bring it round. Nearly there. You've got two more. Last one. Beautiful. Arms up. What I want you to do is just have a bit of a twist, then arms down. Twist. Dip those hands, those forearms down. Keep those arms high, keep those elbows high. Twist as far around as you can go, but keep those arms up. We'll do one more each side. And that's it. Bring those arms down shake them out so what i want you to do now is loosely clasp your fingertips together at the back i want your feet quite wide on this one i'm a bit rubbish at this i'm not very flexible with my arms because of the old stupid old uh, injury in my shoulder but anyway doesn't matter keep your feet quite wide what i want you to try and do is dip forward and then bring press those arms up Just hold that position, keep pressing further back if you can. Well, you're sort of going up, aren't you, in this, in this position. Slowly bring them back. Put your hands on your thighs. Bring it back up. And I've come curling me back. I'm tucking my hips in. I'm lifting my chest and then my head. So, similar actually. So, we're... Uh, I'm facing this way so you can see you've got your hands here on your legs. Well, you, your fingertips are in actually. Your elbows are out and I want you to curve in, dip in. You're tucking your pelvis up, you're curving your back right through. Carefully release that stretch by pushing your bum back. Push it back. Try and bring that back down, that lower back, and raise your chest up as if you're trying to look upwards. We've done some of these stretches before, but the video didn't work. Now tuck your hips back in. It's one of those stupid videos that didn't quite work properly. Tuck those hip, um, that pelvis up. Tuck your ribs up. Now again, stick that bum slowly out, bring that chest up, raise that head. Beautiful, now slowly release that stretch. We're not doing it again, we're just gonna stand back up. No idea, so, okie dokie. Right, I want your fingertips clasped in front. And this time, actually, sorry, the other way around. Yeah, cast your fingers, then try and press it that way. Yeah? Then press those arms up. As high as you can get them. Bring them back down. Press them back up. Just really reach up. Bring them back down. 
Just going to do that one, one more time. Beautiful. Shake those arms out. Right, so what I want you to do now is I want you to step back or forward. doesn't really matter which way you do it. So you're on the ball of your foot. I want you to dip that knee and I want you to press forward through that knee without falling over. So you're pushing that knee over your toe. Keep that heel on the floor though. We're not raising that heel. Push back through that heel again now. Go the other way. Step back, you're on the ball of your foot. You're dipping that back knee. You're pushing this front knee forward over your toe. Push back up. Now, you'll probably need to hold the wall. Um, I'm going to try and do it without so you can see me properly. This should be fun. So, you'll be holding onto the wall, you get your ankle, you hook it over the top of your knee. Well, you'll be holding on with that hand actually. Get your ankle with this hand, put your elbow above, ah, above your knee joint. So, I'm pretending to hold on. And you're going to dip your bum back and press down through the elbow. I don't want your actual elbow on your knee joint itself. Make sure it's above. Really press down. It's like you're sitting with your legs crossed-ish. Bring it back up. Other side. Oh, I wish I was holding on. <laughs> so, again, bring that knee out. Bring that ankle up. Hold that ankle, you're above that knee, put that elbow above the other knee, press down, sit into it and press down with that elbow, stretch out those glutes and your hips. Your whole entire upper leg really, you're stretching everything out there, just sit into it and press, push up. Beautiful. Now I want you to cross your legs, cross your feet, and now I want you to dip down. You can have your, your hands just look, hanging down like this, or you can have them above your knee, whatever. Carefully, carefully, carefully standing. Uncross, cross the other way. Do it again. Stand up. Beautiful. Just see what time it is. So I want you to be able to get hold of the corner of the wall or something like that. So I'm going to have to turn this round. Like that. So where am I? I'm at wrong end. Ha! <laughs> no, doofus. Right, so I'm here. <laughs> My hand is here. It's a roundabout parallel to the floor. It's supported on the corner of the this this could be the corner of a wall, whatever. Doorway, doesn't matter. As long as that's not able to, to come away. Now, what I want you to do, keep the arm straight and just twist around a little bit to face the other way. Really stretching that arm out, not too far, be careful. Think about it, you're not daft. If it hurts, if it properly hurts, stop it. But just stretch it out, really open up. Open up that shoulder, those biceps. Stretch out the arm. Carefully, carefully, carefully release. Now you're going to do the other side and I can't. That's fun. Anyway, I'll show you from the other, I'll show you from here. So I've got my hand on the wall and I'm just turning round. Same principle. 
it's just easy to do it against a corner or an open doorway. Really feel that stretching the arm out. So yeah, it's basically been a full stretching program today. I wasn't entirely sure what, what I was going to do until I did it. So there you go. A nice stretch. Carefully release that. Shake those arms out. There you go. You've had a 20 minute stretch. That's, that's what I want you to do today. Whatever your gentle basic day is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you feel all loose and limber. So, Fitness by Susie. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.